हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सिविल थ्री प्रो ट्रिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ आवर ऑन गोइंग सीरीज ऑफ राउंड अबाउट डिजाइन टू डी इन प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियो वी हैव गॉन थ्रू द वेरियस राउंड अबाउट पैरामीटर्स एंड वी हैव सीन द डिजाइन ऑफ टू लेन टू वे रोड एंट्री एंड वी हैव डन द चेक्स लाइक एंट्री रेडियस फ्लैर लेंथ एंट्री एंगल entry path curvature in today's video i'll show you how to design the single lane approach to the two lane carriageway uh, circulatory carriageway width as you can see on my screen uh, i have a, a major road which is two lane two way and the minor road uh, single lane two way and uh, i have circulatory uh, of two lane so how you can design this so when you have this kind of configuration it is desirable that my entry should be a uh, two lane uh, this will also increase the capacity of the roundabout so what you need to do your single lane approach will be a two lane entry uh, so you need to taper down to, to two lane so let's see how we can do that so first thing what you need to do is just create a a reference line for the two lane so i'll just give this to the offset and i design my entry radius from this so i'll give my entry radius to around 30 and just create one fillet curve and delete my reference line now next thing i need to do is the taper so there's a different way or uh, uh, various way of doing the taper the easiest way is to design compound curve so i'll go for the tangent tangent radius and design one compound curve uh, giving the radius of around 150 the higher radius so if you give the higher radius it will give you enough uh, taper length so the vehicle will smoothly transition from the single lane to two lane single lane approach to two lane entry and just like uh, i quickly delete this lines so i delete this delete this and delete this so this is how my entry radius and the taper the next thing i need to give entry width so the entry would would be the eight meter for the two lane and you either go for the tangent 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 you give the tangent and keep your uh, eight meter or what you need to do for the smooth curve just design tangent radius to this and just give the radius 30 and you'd be ensured that you have at least get minimum 8 meter so i'm getting minimum 8 meter so i'll go for this smooth curve and delete here and here and the next you just offset this to 4 meter so i have a two lane entry and minimum 8 meter entry width so this is how i design my entry approach now i design my exit approach here so for the single lane roundabout it is desirable uh, to have a wide <coughs> approach width and higher entry uh, sorry radius because you want that your vehicle should leave from the roundabout very quickly to increase its capacity so you should uh, aim for the higher radius at exit so i'll go for the 40. now you also have to take care of that your exit radius and entry radius of this approach will not overlap so i'll just check for that i'll go with the 30 and uh, yeah they are not overlapping but you can see that there is a one s curve has developed and it should not be desirable to have a, this kind of uh, s curve so in order to avoid that what you need to do is you need to create one tangent line 
to the uh, uh, tangent to the uh, our ICD so I'll just create one line from here here and just rotate it to 90 so it will be a tangential to my ICD and just extend it and now instead of uh, giving radius from ICD I'll give the radius from here so I'll go 30 entry radius to this I'll go with tangent tangent radius this point this point 30 so I need to okay and here to here should be 40 exit radius yep now you can see it is very smooth entry and exit and now I design my finish my island design so I'll just offset to 7 meter uh, like I said you need to have a wider uh, exit the reason to have a wider uh, exit means uh, uh, around 7 meter is that if your vehicle or anything just break down near the exit it would uh, make the queue on your roundabout so for that your exit uh, which should be uh, enough for the two vehicle to pass out so in case one vehicle is break down here another vehicle can go from here so that's why you have to have a wider exit so I have given 7 meter and now I just finish my island design so I'll go for the tangent 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 so I'll design one curve from here here and intersect to here so I could have at least 7 meter width now I finish give one curve here to this point to this point point 0.9 to design my island and taper it taper it sorry trim it and also I keep 0.5 or meter gap from here just for the safety and just offset to 0.9 or oh, sorry give the radius of 0.9 just go for the fillet command and trim trim this so here is my island now one more thing you need to take care that you should have at least 6 meter exit at the end of the island so if I check uh, what is the width at the end of my island it is just five uh, it is 5.7 which is quite enough uh, but you should have at least 6 meters the reason that you have a smooth tapering from the 7.5 to 6 and 3 and so that is reason if you have a 6 meters so that like you have a curbing over here curbing over here and if you have at least six meters so the two vehicle can able to pass out in case of the one big uh, uh, emergency one vehicle break down over here so that is why at the end of the curbing you should have at least six meter wide so the two vehicle can pass out so i'll just delete let's see how we can create that so what i'll do i'll just this uh, offset this to six meter just to take care that I got at least 6 meter now instead of giving the direct mm, uh, radius I'll go for the cup mount curve again and I'll go tangent tangent from this to this at least go for 250 okay and just delete the lines and from here I can create my exit radius which 
is 40 meter and run trim it so now if i can measure here it will be more than at least six meter yep i'm getting 6.5 which is enough for the two vehicle in case of the emergency now you don't want that uh, two lane exit uh, you are designing as a one lane exit you are just giving the extra width so what you need to do you just offset it to 4 meter and give tangent tangent and the intersection so So this is indicate that at the time only one vehicle can pass out only emergency uh, when it comes to emergency or breakdown the vehicle can use this path which is going to be hatch area in case of the emergency or any breakdown or the vehicle so your exit would be only one lane your shouldn't be exit as a two lane but you just give enough width in case of the emergency so there will be no queue developed in the roundabout so what you need to do you just need to hatch this area so i just randomly draw some hatches quickly for you and can see how our final design will look just export it you can design this uh, hatch as per your uh, road marking guidelines but here i'll just randomly create some hatch export this send this so yeah this area only will be used uh, on emergency or for it also it can be useful for the large vehicle and just give some bit. so yep this is how my entry uh, single end approach entry and exit later on you have to run down some checks like the entry angle flare length and entry path radius from here to here and here to here to see whether this entry and exit radius is sufficient for the roundabout so yep this is my uh, approach for the single end roundabout thank you thank you for watching i uh, hope our video are informative and it help you to learn sales 3d as well as highway design thank you